Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today is a special video because it is my son's eighth grade graduation little mini at home party, and we're so excited. So today, if you guys can see, we have got a little bit of a setup here. We're just doing something small. We don't live near family, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna make him feel special. So we are doing a big taco bar tonight. I'm making a special dinner and dessert and appetizers. And of course, we have all kinds of decorations up for him that he got to see when he woke up. It was a surprise. So I'm gonna take you through and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do and show you a little way that you can make your kids feel super special at home with minimal effort and not a whole lot of money. I think I got all of these like black and white decorations for about 12 bucks. Super simple, super cheap, and we did it while the kids were asleep and so they woke up and saw all the party decorations and just had themselves a fit. So I'm starting with dessert and I am making a fried ice cream cake for dessert. So I've got my cornflakes in here, I've got a stick of butter melting, and I'm about ready to get this one going. So right now I'm making the crunchy topping that goes on the bottom and the top of the fried ice cream dessert. Now, nobody in my family except for me has had fried ice cream, so I'm really excited about this. It reminds me when I was a little girl and my mom and I used to go to this restaurant called Chi Chi's. Does anybody remember Chi Chi's? Please post it in the comments if you remember Chi Chi's because that was like my favorite place to go when I was a little girl. So, my mom and I used to always get fried ice cream. I've never made it. This is my first time making it and we're gonna do like a nine by 13 type of pan for this for dinner. But because this has to firm up in the freezer, I'm gonna do this one first and get this going before I start the side dishes for tonight. I've got a couple things going. I'll show you everything we're gonna make. Mexican food is like, everybody's favorite in my house and I've learned a lot of tricks over the years to cooking really good um, types of dishes and I watch a lot of Pioneer Woman. I do, you guys, I just love it. So I'm using several of her recipes. I'm using some that I found on the internet and some that I've just developed over time. So let's start in the kitchen and I will show you guys everything I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna make a big taco bar spread. So we have kind of like this really short bar in our kitchen and I'm just gonna kind of line up everything. I have everything from dips to nachos to chips to toppings and fixins and all kinds of things that are gonna go up here and the boys are just gonna make their own plates and we're just gonna have a really nice family dinner. So I ground up half, or I ground up a full pound of that Jimmy Dean sausage. I'm gonna put half of it in my freezer and I'm gonna put the other half inside of the dip. And I'm just going to drain it on some paper towels before I put it in the crock pot because if I don't, then it will get really oily inside and I don't want that. I want there to be as little oil as possible inside of this thing. It's already unhealthy, let's not make it worse. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna let this drain for a few minutes and then I'm gonna put it all together. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray the inside of this because this can get really sticky. And then we're gonna add about half of this. This is a full pound, I don't need this much. I'm only gonna add about half. And then this is half of a big block of Velveeta cheese. We're gonna add this whole thing. 
and it's just cut up into cubes to make things a little bit easier and it makes it easier to melt. I'm going to add some taco seasoning, which I already have some open here, so I'm gonna use this one. Find my can opener. I'm going to open the Rotel. And I do add the liquid in with it. It just makes things a little bit easier to melt. I'm just gonna dump that right in and then I'm gonna give it a quick stir. I'm going to pop the lid on and that's it. And I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a little while and get all melty and clean up the kitchen because now it's a mess in here and I still have to make the tacos and everything else for dinner tonight. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It was great celebrating my child's eighth grade at graduation and I hope you guys got some great ideas in case you have a little graduate as well. I'll see you in the next video. Happy homeschooling.